Due to an increase of the world's energy demand and petroleum oil as well as the concern on global warming problem, an innovative solution for future energy has therefore been recognized. Biomass is the only sustainable carbon-rich material source available to produce transportation fuel. In this study, utilization of non-edible oil to produce biodiesel and green diesel which could serve a rapid implementation of biofuel without affecting food supplies are the main aim of this research project. The potential feedstock in Thailand and Southeast Asian countries are focused. The impact of different nitrogen sources on the chlorella vulgaris microalgae was studied via a dual nutrient heterogeneity mode. In addition, to tackle the fundamental aspects at the auto and heterotrophic metabolism pathways via a photoperiod regime with a side-by-side -side comparison with sole autotrophic and heterotrophic cultivations have been investigated. The highlights obtained from the studies including Assessing dual nutrient heterogeneity modes in continuous microalgae cultivation. Microalgal nitrogen preference shifted to ammonium under dual nitrogen environment. Microalgal productivity was enhanced under a balanced ammonium nitrate supply. Nitrogen stress at high ammonium loading had resulted in high lipid composition. Chlorella vulgaris grown mixotrophically via photoperiod regime in municipal wastewater. Prolonged light period in mixotrophy had promoted microalgal biomass growth. Prolonged dark period in mixotrophy had induced cellular lipid accumulation. 16 to 8 hours of light to dark cycle is an optimal photo period for biomass and lipid productivities. Black soldier fly larvae have been deployed to valorize various organic wastes. In this work, waste-activated sludge were first thermally pretreated under different treatment temperatures and durations before being administered as the feeding substrates for BSFL. The highlights obtained from the studies including Improvement of sludge biodegradability via low-temperature thermal pretreatment 75 degrees Celsius was the threshold temperature to break down sludge structure effectively. Multivariate nonlinear model depicted the hydrolysis kinetics of sludge. Correlation between larva weights gained and soluble nutrients from sludge. Exponential growth model to predict larva weight via soluble COD exuded by sludge. Pangamia panada is indigenous to the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. It is a fast-growing plant that is particularly resistant to drought and salt, thus it could be cultivated on marginal land in broad tropical and subtropical areas, potentially reducing the issue of land use. However, limited studies on Pangamia panada conversion to biohydrogenated diesel. As shown in the figure, the desired product yield green diesel yield of the sulfide nickel molybdenum supported on gramma alumina catalyst almost reached the theoretical value comparable to the other two catalysts due to its high deoxygenating performance and low cracking activity. Thank you for watching this video. Financial support from Reinventing University System Program by the Ministry of Higher Education, Science, Research and Innovation Fiscal Year 2021 is gratefully acknowledged.